All right, so this is called the resurrection plant. I don't have the exact but botany name for it, but I didn't think it was alive or I would have showed you what it looked like when it was dry. I thought it was dead because this has been in a greenhouse now for a couple of years and I totally forgot it was here. And so I guess it's still alive. It doesn't look as green as it used to look. Kind of was a little greener than this. Here's the bottom. You can see the roots. And I don't know if it's dead or, it, you know, alive or what, but it opened up and it's flat like it always goes. So I don't know if it's dead or alive, but like I said, it was a little greener at one time. And now it's kind of like bleached. I think they said not to leave it in the sun. And this thing's been cooking in the sun for a couple of years, actually. <laughs> so what it is, is this plant can dry out for like years on end. I mean, you could leave this thing totally dry and then water it like I did now. Put it in this little bowl they gave you with it. And there, there was some lava rocks that were in the bottom. I lost those, but it's a little kit you buy online. I'll leave a link in the description for somewhere, maybe one of the Amazon uh, things, and you'll be able to find this plant on there. And you just basically water it, and it opens up like this, but you're not supposed to leave it in direct sunlight. You should leave it in indirect light, I believe. You just leave it, and a couple days later, it looks like this. And it opens up. This thing was it, when it dries out, it curls into like a ball. It looks almost like a head of cabbage. And then you could leave it dried out like that for years, and then water it again, and it opens right back up like this every single time. So, like I say, I don't know if this thing's dead or if that's supposed to do that. I don't know. It was green, a little greener at one point. You could leave it in the water too if you want for a while. Let it kind of grow a little bit more. Well, it's in that state, and then it needs to be dried out from time to time. You water it again, and, and there it goes. It's some kind of a desert plant. I don't know if it's native to the United States or Africa, but, yeah, that's the resurrection plant. And if you've never seen one of these before, pick one up. They're pretty fun to have. You can't go wrong by forgetting watering this plant. All right, I'll see you on the next one.